Oh, this is easy, and I got a plugin you'll be able to try. It's called the 4R8Z Uploader. Uh, what this plugin does, it'll allow you to upload images real quick and also your uh, OBJ tools real quick to d display on the website. Uh, I am not affiliated with these websites, so keep that in mind. And I'm going to show you where you need to put a couple files at, okay? Uh, it's, they're highlighted in blue. This one is called the 4 r 8 Z slash upload ZSC. This will go in your startup. Uh, mine is in the ZPlug 64. Yours might be different. Okay, make sure this goes in here. And the second one that goes in here is called the Easy My Plugin Data. This folder belongs to Pixel Logic. Okay, I renamed it just because in case you had a plugin called My Plugin Data, I don't want you to override it. That's why I renamed it. And in the zip file, there's going to be a folder called the Z slash images, right? This will go in your C drive, okay? Uh, then once you place this folder out of the zip file in your uh, C drive, it'll be the uh, C drive Z slash images. Uh, these, all three files need to be in place for this to work. Once you get all three files installed, you'll go into Z plugs and call the Z uploader here. Uh, this has the tool. This is if you want to upload your tool to the web. Uh, also, if you want to upload your images to the web, uh, which would be the dog, and if you want to check out my site here. So I'm going to select here, press tools, and this is going to upload this. Well, it won't upload it yet until you drop and drag this. Uh, this website here, um, you have to sign up for a free account for this to work for this plugin. This it will not work, okay? Uh, it's free, no obligations. I've had it for years, and it's great if you want to display your models on the web. Uh, and you can see it opened up the uh, Z image folder in the C drive. Uh, you can adjust this however you want. Every time the script runs, you can it'll always open however you adjust it. Now this site is extremely fast. So once I drag this here and click and let go, and I'm going to go ahead and close this window out here. It's already uploaded. Okay. This will allow you to display your model on the web for people to look at. All right. Also, it's got all kinds of options here. If you, how do you want to display it? And we got that. Let's go ahead and close that one out. And we got spin. And while it's spinning, and we're going to go ahead and switch it to this one. I'll wait until it catches up. Uh, like I said, it's extremely fast, and I don't think there's any plugins required. Also, if you have like a uh, laptop, uh, this is touchscreen and interactive. Uh, if you hold your laptop out, laptop out in front of you and walk around the room, this will actually move with it. Uh, this is pretty cool. And like I said, it's free, no obligations, and I'm not affiliated with this website. Uh, once you're done, uh, you want to close all your windows out by pressing the X. That'll be on your uh, C folder and this one here in case you want to do something. Even though that uh, I'm uploading this uh, mesh here, it's always best to optimize this mesh and reduce the polygons if possible. Uh, this one is for the image, really simple, basically the same thing. So when I click here, uh, it's going to give me an option to uh, go ahead and crop this where I want this image and how I want it to look. So I'll do it right here and we'll just make this long down here and we'll press OK couple seconds uh, we're gonna go ahead and drag this to another website it's got drop and drag and here's the image right here every time that uh, you run the script it overwrites these files so they always be overwritten and once you do that um, you can display it it gives you uh, links that you can display on which is pretty cool I had pause the video and add it to the script here um, I got a button called load and I want to call it material okay this is going to allow you to uh, capture this material and that way when you capture it you can upload the image and you could have this same material here and transfer it up to uh, P3D on your models. So it's kind of like transferring materials. So basically what you do is you press this load button which I already did. So if I press load again, I'll get this. And when I do that, I'll select any material I want then I'm going to press uh, the material button. Okay. And when I did this, you got a new texture. 
Now it may look a little chopped off. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Um, and what you do is you uh, click this texture, and you'll export this, and you're going to export this as a PNG. Okay, a PNG. And we'll just go ahead and delete these ones I got in here I made, and we'll call this one. Red wax PNG. Remember that. And we'll do another one. So we'll just select here. And let's do this droplet here. And press material. Select the texture. Export. select the dog here real quick as you can see it looks a little uh, acid there um, when you upload a p3d it'll kind of smooth it out it'll kind of actually resemble uh, if I go down here to dynamic subdivision it'll kind of mimic this right here All right. so let's go ahead and see what's going on here so let's take the tool over here Every now and then, uh, you'll see a BMP in here. We're not using none of this stuff. I don't know why it does it, but we're not using that. So let's drag this over here. And then we're going to go to the material settings default and click the shade of sphere. Click it again. Then we're going to press this new shade of sphere. And let's do the red wax. And you can see there, that looks just like it does in ZBrush. And there's a sphere. Let's do another one. I just clicked that. I'm sorry about that. And a droplet. And you can see that looks just like in ZBrush. I was talking about something chopped off and it was in the image here just I'll see if I can uh, do another one here but I got a model up here so if I have that in here um, I'm gonna press load so we can clone this template here all right then when that's done uh, I'm gonna show you here in a second see if I can find something I'll do that look at the image on the bottom of it uh, you can't see the whole uh, image is kind of uh, looks like transparent so it looks kind of screwed up it doesn't look like nothing like the image it will still work uh, there's nothing wrong with it and uh, these are the ones that you want to save is these textures here that it creates okay up in the texture menu do not use the document save as and this also um, under the texture palette here, this is not like grab dock or anything like that. You start using these, uh, you'll have a black outline, and it will look close, but it won't look good as these textures. So make sure you save these textures as a PNG. Uh, right there, you can see when uh, the bottom looks like the bottom of the sphere and the big image is missing, uh, it will still work, or it should. Anyway, I think it's going to wrap it up, and thank you very much.